This week, our topic is the Revolutionary War itself. And the first topic I kind of wanted to talk about is how did the young United States, the newly formed United States, how did they do it? How did they gain their independence? And the answer is they did it when it seemed like they shouldn't have been able to. The British had the best army in the world, for sure the best navy in the world. They were very well organized. This was something that they did before. They knew what they were doing. They had the supplies. They had everything that they needed. Uh, so it seemed like this was a very hard task uh, for the f newly formed United States. And honestly, they used every single one of their advantages. They knew the land better than the British did. They were more motivated than the British. They uh, attacked smallly. They used those guerrilla war tactics where you attack and then disappear uh, into the woods or into the, the forest. And it worked extremely well. The, the British had the problem of having to conquer every single inch of the colonies and the, the colonists, meaning the United States, they knew that and they took advantage of that as well. Um, and never underestimate people like George Washington, who was a you know, brilliant uh, general and moved things along quite well. Now, here's the thing. I'm not going to talk a lot about uh, the war itself and the battles that were there. Uh, one of the things that I've asked you to consider in the past is, you know, whether or not you would be for, you know, independence and fighting the British, or if you would be for staying in colonies and and keeping in touch with the British. And it's a harder question, I think, than people often give it credit for. Um, the loyalists had their reasons, and they were not bad reasons. They feared um, economic instability. Um, if you did not have that connection with Britain and that guaranteed trade, they feared, you know, what kind of government is going to be put in place if the British are gone. They feared that instability. They feared the war itself. Um, they feared the repercussions if you lost the war. Uh, many of them were tied to Britain strongly in some way, either through business or trade. So they had something to lose uh, if we were no longer colonies. Uh, maybe they just felt a sense of loyalty uh, to what they considered to be their home country. Um, so it it's a hard decision to make. And I think it's unfair just to say, well, it's silly. You should have been, you know, a, a patriot. You should have been for independence um, without actually having lived through it. Um, that being said, I know your book talks about, you know, some of the different groups of people that did help with the revolution. One of the groups that I wanted to talk about was the slaves. The slaves were sort of in a unique position. Here are the colonies and the young United States fighting for their independence, fighting, you know, um, against oppression, you know, saying liberty, you know, give me liberty, give me death. And yet you've got this slave population in the South and it is kind of ironic. And the slaves knew what was happening. They heard all the talk and uh, were, I think, maybe slightly hopeful that maybe someday, um, you know, that talk about liberty would be applied to them. The British knew that there was a large slave population that they could use to their advantage. So they, the British did try to tell the slaves, hey, if you help us out, if you leave and fight with the British instead of, you know, the Americans or the colonists, well then, guess what? We will guarantee your freedom. We will guarantee you certain things. So they did try to take advantage of that as best they could. Um, Women, on the other hand, also helped as best they could. The idea was that women were not allowed to be out in the battlefields. Um, even, you know, a whole lot of nursing was not necessarily an option. And so they did everything from raising money to sewing uniforms to making bandages 
um, just to keeping the farms and the businesses running while their husbands, brothers, uh, fathers were gone fighting the war. They had to step up and, and do those things and were more than happy to. Um, so the Revolutionary War is a gigantic war in American history, obviously. Um, see your textbook for more details on specific battles and things of that nature. Otherwise, thank you, and I hope that you're having a good week.